Welcome back. The Nawaya Network is a nonprofit organization based in Lebanon where underprivileged and at risk youth get a chance to connect to financial, educational, and material resources that help them develop their talents in areas such as art, music, dance, and athletics. Here's a closer look. Here to tell us a little more about the Nawai Network is founder and executive director Zena Saab. Welcome, Zena. Thank you, Yumna. Tell me why did you choose underprivileged and at risk youth for this NGO? Um, the idea occurred to me three years ago in 2009. I was a consultant on a project up in the Bekaa Valley, and I came across um, a 13 year old girl who aspired to be a fashion designer. And she showed me her sketches, and I was really surprised at the talent. And I started to think it's unfortunate that she's living so far away from all the resources. She didn't have a trainer. She didn't have somebody to instruct her on certain techniques. And so I thought, what would happen if, if we help her and others uh, connect to resources that could help them develop their, their passions and their, their talents and their skills as a way out of poverty in the long run? She can become a fashion designer. Um, others interested in art could sell their work, um, can have exhibits, can become uh, children's illustrators. There's a way for this talent to make money one day, especially for the poor. And at the same time, I thought this is one way to keep these kids off the streets and away from crime, violence, drug use, and help them channel their energies into something more productive. Well, at the time that you got this idea, did you find out if there were other NGOs working for underprivileged kids at the time? Yeah, I've, I've been very familiar with the NGO scene in Lebanon. Although I grew up in the U.S., I've come every summer and I've volunteered and I know what's out there. There are a lot of wonderful, uh, successful local NGOs here doing great work with underprivileged youth. But I noticed there was a gap. There was a gap in the sense that um, no NGO seemed to focus uh, specifically on the talents of promising youth. So I thought I could perhaps you know, start an initiative that could complement um, their, their own work. So they already work with underprivileged youth. Um, they offer them after school activities, some of them offer them tutoring, um, and, and uh, so much more. But I found that there is this missing link, especially for the promising youth that have this talent but have no way to, to develop it. How does a person help out? So, what's, so now that you've established the NGO, what's the next step for people to be able to help out. Okay, so right now we've pre-launched the NGO. We pre-launched it on, May, on March 8th, and uh, we're building our network. We are recruiting mentors, people like you, people like others who come from more privileged backgrounds, who have a skill to offer an underprivileged youth. Say, for example, you're an artist. You, we could train you to become a mentor, and you can connect with somebody. When you say we, you mean the like NGO. Okay. The NGO. So you'll you'll hire artists who will help out the kids. We won't hire them. It's all on uh, volunteer, volunteer basis. basis. Right. So we've been recruiting heavily at AUB and elsewhere, uh, trying to spread the word, trying to get uh, you know college uh, young professionals and college students to, to contribute in this what, way. What has been the, uh, the results incredible, so far? Incredible, really. We've been so inspired by the positive feedback from the community. It's amazing. I mean, people who didn't know that their own particular skill could help, you know, could potentially help an underprivileged youth come out of poverty one day by investing in them, by maybe being their role model. You know, it just takes one hour per week to mentor somebody. So the NGO, um, is, is working to train these mentors to know how to deal with them, to know how to deal with the parents, and uh, try to get the best out of them. And I know that you traveled abroad and you showcased, we just saw a part of the trailer, and you showcased this in different parts right. of the world. So what are the recent, most recent developments? Well, we screened it in London, uh, courtesy of Us Creates. 
And um, yes, uh, and uh, we have plans tomorrow actually to screen it at MIT in Boston. So I'll be calling in via Skype to show the documentary. So if anybody from MIT is watching, tune yes, in, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, we've got Cleveland on board, we've got Los Angeles, uh, possibly Vienna. Uh, I've been invited to speak in uh, Dubai and Abu Dhabi. So there are lots of opportunities. But this is based in Lebanon primarily working with Lebanese children here, and then it would be with different kids from different countries, right, at the well. It's not just for Lebanese children. This is the long-term goal. This is definitely the long-term goal. We hope that this model can be replicated elsewhere because our model is an online platform, basically, that we're still developing, that we hope to have launched uh, sometime in the fall. And this online platform will allow anybody, anywhere, to contribute. Uh, either by offering financial resources, by connecting them with people they know, by offering training material. You don't have to be physically in Lebanon to help these youth. Okay. And so if this model succeeds here, we hope to expand it to the region and possibly uh, even further. And reach Lebanese people abroad as well, right? Lebanese people who can either come back or help out from there. Cause as we said, there's a big Lebanese diaspora out there, so... And this is what, what we want to capitalize on. These screenings are being mostly held, for the most part, by Lebanese clubs in universities around the U.S. and elsewhere. If not the Lebanese clubs, it's the professional Arab uh, American networks. So everybody's really excited about this because it doesn't just apply to a local context, it can be expanded. So if successful, which we hope it will be, it, c it has the potential to change so many lives. People that we didn't know had that potential because they weren't visible in front of us are suddenly visible because we're connecting them through the online platform, which before they didn't have access to. So here's the Nawaya Network that's trying to showcase their stories to not just Lebanese, but people around the world. And, and we've and inspire children Absolutely. all this over. Is this, this is the idea. And as you idea. said, give them a chance to be able to kind of tone their skill and, and really become better at their talent. Absolutely. Any closing remarks? Well, um, I have a lot actually, but if there are any Lebanese out there who would like to showcase the documentary at different institutions in Lebanon, please let us know. Uh, beyond that, if you own a business, uh, like an art studio or a sports facility, anything, please let us know. We would love to collaborate. Okay, well thank you Zena for joining us.